the United States government has passed and is trying to pass nationwide anti-Semitism speech laws. And obviously, as somebody who is not a Jew hater, as I've been called recently, is not an anti-Semite, is not a hateful person toward Israel as the country, but as maybe the state, as in the government, I oppose your government, as I do oppose many other governments around the world, I am going to read these speech laws out and just show you the reality of what it actually is. So these are the rules as seen on the State Department website calling for aiding or justifying the killing or harming of Jews in the name of a radical ideology or extremist view of religion. Obviously, that is proper, genuine anti-Semitism, and it's not protected under the First Amendment. Making mendacious, dehumanizing, demonizing, or stereotypical allegations about Jews as such, or the power of Jews as collective, such as, especially but not exclusively, the myth about a world Jewish conspiracy or of Jews controlling the media, economy, government, or other societal institutions. Accusing Jews as a people of being responsible for real or imagined wrongdoing committed by a single Jewish person or group, or even for acts committed by non-Jews. Denying the fact, scope, mechanisms, e.g. gas chambers, or intentional intentionality of the jazz of the genocide of the Jewish people at the hands of National, Co National Socialist Germany and its supporters and accomplices during World War II, the Holocaust. Accusing the Jews as a people or Israel as a state of inventing or exaggerating the Holocaust. Accusing Jewish citizens of being more loyal to Israel or to the alleged priorities of Jews worldwide than to the interest of their own nations, denying the Jewish people their right to self-determination, for example, by claiming the, that the existence of a state of Israel is a racist endeavor, and applying double standards by requiring of it a behavior not expected or demanded of any other democratic nation. Using the symbols and images associated with classic anti-Semitism, for example, claims of Jews killing Jesus or blood libel to characterize Israel or Israelis, drawing comparisons of contemporary Israeli policy to that of the Nazis, and holding Jews collectively, collectively responsible for actions of the State of Israel. The only valid speech rule that I think should be countered as anti-Semitism is obviously the first one because it's not protected under the First Amendment. The rest of them are absolutely insane. They're garbage. They make no sense and they're breaking the First Amendment. So that begs the question, what is the First Amendment? And what does it actually protect? The First Amendment says, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or bridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Now, I recommend that every single American watching this video goes out and buys this book and actually buy it because they can't, they can't literally burn this book unless you burn it yourself, like they can delete your virtual reality account with fluff on the internet. And I'm going to conclude this video just by reading a bit of the summary of what it says about the First Amendment. Summary. Our freedom of expression is one of the most fundamental of our natural rights. History shows that when this right is absent, many others fall simply because people are afraid to speak out against the violations or they are squelched and punished. Thus, our freedom to express discontent with and even anger at our government's actions is vital to the preservation of a free and open society.